Hi, this is Julie from Fabulous Blogging. Today I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to remove the dates from your blog posts regardless of what theme you have. I'm going to start with a tutorial for anyone using Genesis since really that's the easiest and then I'll show you if you have any other theme how you can do it. So Fabulous Blogging is running on Genesis. If I go to my dashboard and I click on Genesis and then I click on Simple Edits. This is a plugin that you need to install first. And once it's installed, the Genesis Simple Edits allows you to use shortcode to get rid of dates, categories, tags, the things on the outside that show underneath your title and before your comments. So I have it set so that my title and then I have my date and my author and then I have it categorized. In the Genesis Simple Edits, I have post date by post author, post comments, and then the post edit. If I wanted to remove the date, I'd simply have to get rid of the code right there. If I wanted to change it so that the date was on the bottom near the category, I would just paste it in here. Hit Save Settings. That's all there is to it for a Genesis blog. If you go to Plugins and Installed Plugins, this is where all your plugins are on your blog. If you wanted to install the Genesis Simple Edits plugin, just simply go to Add New, and in the search bar type Genesis Simple Edits, and hit Enter. And you'll see it's right here, and you can go ahead and click Install and then Activate at which point the Genesis Simple Edits will be in your Genesis menu. So those are for people with Genesis. If you have any other theme, I'm going to ask that you um, open up Chrome, Google Chrome browser. If you don't have the Google Chrome browser, you can do a simple search for Google Chrome. And when you go here, you can simply download it and install it. The reason we need Google Chrome is because it has a nice um, feature on the browser that other browsers don't have, like Internet Explorer, Safari doesn't have um, this feature that we need in order to um, hide our dates. So I'm going to simply start with a blog that I don't have access to. I'm going to go to CNN.com. Okay, the, the headline today, Ruptured Pipeline. Here we have the date. Okay, right here. With Google Chrome, if you highlight what you're interested in, the element that you're interested in, and you use the right click button, choose Inspect Element, you're going to get a lot of code. It might be a little nerve wracking, but you'll notice as I move my cursor up and down this code, you'll see that different parts of the page get highlighted. So right now, when I hit that, the P class update time, you'll notice that it's highlighting the date element. So the next thing I do is I come over here. This is the style sheet. So now I've got this one highlighted. And there's one piece of code that you need to write down, and it's this display colon none semicolon. So what I did was I went over here in the style area and I simply, I'm going to erase this again, so that I'm going to just do it again so you can see exactly what I did. I, what I'm trying to do is identify the element, what the element's name is, since every theme is going to name it differently. So this is the element I want. So you're going to go to your date and you're going to find where your element is and what it's called because it's different. So I have targeted here, and I have found it. Over here at the, in this very top box, not the element style box, but the next one, I see um, metadata paragraph. And it, this seems to, when I hit the display none, when I put that code in there, and this is all testing. I'm not actually changing the website. I'm just testing to see if the code would work in that area. So I just simply stuck my cursor here 
you'll notice a cursor goes right below ready for entry and I typed in display colon none semicolon and you'll see that it's gone from the page nothing else has gone from the page just that that time so now I know that this right here is the is what I would need to hide in my CSS style sheet so now I could do this with any site anywhere I can inspect the element by right clicking on it and hitting inspect element running my cursor along here to see where that exact thing is and then I can look here at what the element is called for CSS so let's do it on a blog that I actually have access to so here is my fabulous blogging and I have access to it now I've already I've already done this the right click inspect element and here you'll see here and here both places um, are highlighting that that area and sure enough over on the right not the element style but below it says entry header header entry meta now if I go ahead and I put my cursor and I do display none you'll see that the date is gone so now I know this is this is what the element is called this is what you need to copy so you'd go ahead and you hit command C or you'd go to edit and copy that's what you need to grab again as soon as I refresh the page anything I've done in this little box just goes away it's all a testing area sandbox area here if I go here this is my demo site and down here the date is showing this is in WordPress some WordPress default theme I think it's the 2015 theme again right click inspect element and here I'm gonna just pull this up I'm gonna see all right so here's the entry footer and here is what looks like the date now if you come over here you'll see that posted on is in is in black and the rest are in gray this means that they've lumped a lot of things together but the one that you want is the posted on and here's why if I just go ahead and hit display colon none semicolon the whole thing is going to disappear because it's linking the posted on the byline the categories the tags the comments all that stuff it's gonna erase everything and you just wanna you just want to get rid of the date so you're gonna copy just that right there now it may not let you you may have to copy the whole thing and then when we go ahead and put it in your theme you can erase the other ones so where do you put this well if you've got if you're running jetpack if you go to jetpack and settings you'll notice that there is a module called custom CSS if you activate this what it will do is give you a separate area to write custom code that doesn't mess with your style sheet um, if you're running a theme and it's not a child theme if you're just running WordPress 2015 if you were to put the CSS right into the code of the theme it would be fine until there was an update at which point that code would get erased so this custom CSS option gives you a separate place to put your code so that it stays safe during updates some themes don't work very well with the jetpack custom CSS and that's because they already have a custom CSS area so you would want to look into your appearance and see if they if it had a custom CSS area if it does use that if it doesn't go ahead and install the jetpack custom CSS and it'll be under appearance and edit CSS you can leave this right there and you can just hit return and start a new line now remember before when I told you to find the element by doing this and then find it over here and copy it I went ahead and copied this and now I'm pasting it remember I don't want all of these things to disappear I just want that to disappear so I'm gonna erase everything including the comma 
and I'm going to leave just that. So now in CSS, you're telling your theme, this is the element I'm working with. And when you're ready to tell it what to do, put a bracket just like that, and that opens up the command. And now I hit return. It's just a, a, a style, the way CSS works. But if you don't hit return, it's no big deal. Display colon none semicolon. And now I'm going to close the bracket. And then I'm going to hit save style sheet. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to refresh the page. And you'll see that the date is gone, um, but everything else remains. And that's essentially it. You just have to add that. And then if you wanted to update the theme, this would remain safe. Now, if you don't have a custom CSS editor for your theme, and you've tried it in the CSS style sheet editor and it's still not cooperating, you might have to put it directly into your style sheet. Again, just be forewarned that updates will erase those. But to get to your actual style sheet, you'd have to go to appearance and editor. And this is the, the, the editor of the actual theme. You can do one of two things. You can either just tack it on at the bottom, which isn't very, um, which isn't a very good way to do it because it's kind of redundant. But you can, if you want to, just stick it there, and I'm pretty sure it'll just, yeah, it'll keep it erased. But let me update this and make sure that I didn't leave it in the CSS over here. Oh wait, I did. My bad. Let me save that. Go back to the editor. Make sure that I'm giving you the right. Every theme is going to is going to act a little bit differently. This is kind of the messy way to do it. Um, to stick it in your actual theme right at the bottom. But yes, it accomplishes the same thing. If you wanted to be a little bit neater, what you could do is use the find function. By hitting Command F and it pulls up this little find, and you could just put in your what you're looking for, which is posted on. Okay, it says there's ten spots for it, and it's right here. It looks like I found it. It's right here. The thing is, what you have to do is you'd have to take it out. You'd have to go like this. You put your tag in your open tag. Then you'd have to do display, <clears throat> none, close it, return. And that's the neater way to do it. Although, actually, this is before. It should be this one. It was I did the wrong one. Um, as you see, when you're working here in the actual uh, style sheet, you know, if you're not careful, you can, you know, if you don't, if you haven't saved it, um, this is the neater way to do it, is to do it right where it is in the style sheet already. And then you do that. And then you could go ahead and hit save, update file, and it will accomplish the same thing. The only benefit to doing it, to putting it at the end of your theme is that at least you know where it is and you can go ahead and erase it if you've made a mistake. Whereas by editing it right into the theme, if I haven't saved a copy, I may not remember what I've done. But this is again the same, the, the main reason why I want to reiterate that if you use this nice style sheet editor, it keeps all your custom code in a separate spot. And themes will build these in, or if not, you can use your Jetpack CSS. So just as one final, um, do it one last time. You're going to right-click on your website and hit Inspect Element. You're using Google Chrome. You're going to make sure that you're grabbing just the right element you want. You're going to come over here, and you're going to test it first by hitting a return and typing in display colon none semicolon 
If it disappears, you know you've got the right element. Grab that element, copy it, use your custom CSS editor using Jetpack or your specific theme. Go ahead and paste it in. Once you have the element you want, open it with a tag. Type in display none semicolon bracket and hit save style sheet. And that's really all there is to it. Um, and if you're a Genesis user, go ahead and use your Genesis Simple Edits plugin. Um, it will be much easier. So have a great day. Please follow me at fabulousblogging.com. Thanks. Bye.